There you go, good evening everyone. So I just finished work. Raining a little bit, so I put the old hoodie up. Protect the old glasses. So I've got a quick video. And listen, you know, as I say, I've called out a few people lately. I'm happy to take anybody on. I'm not ducking or dodging anybody. I'm happy to take on all challenges. So who are the main people I've called? Which way is the station? Oh, there it is. First time I've worked at this place. So I've called out quite a few people. I'm happy to take any of them on anywhere, anytime. They name the conditions. I'll go to them. I'm not going to ask for any weight conditions. You know, I mean, some of these people I've called out, some of these people are physically quite big, over six foot. Called out, let me see, Time Booth. Obviously, Time Booth's over six foot. Max, Maximus Jenkins is over six foot. And, you know, obviously, I can't ask these guys to lose weight. And obviously, I'm the one that called them out. So, I'm happy to take them on at whatever weight, weight they want to come in the ring at. It's not a problem. I fancy my chances against all of them. But, you know, I've been calling out a lot of people. Porky's Corner, Max Jenkins, Ty and Booth, Spencer Fearon. I need to do a video on him. Those are the main ones. I called out Nicky Smedley as well. I think Nicky, I have, I've got nothing bad to say about Nicky. I respect him. He's a professional boxer. He's boxed in the past and, you know, I wish the young man well. I have nothing bad to say about him, but if he wants to get in the ring, I'll do it. And I won't be showing any mercy either. Someone else I want to call out in case Porky... Obviously, Porky's extremely scared of me. But listen, I'm happy to call out any Porky fans. Any of you want to get in the ring with me, you can. You can come in the ring as big as you like, as heavy as you like. I'll take any and all of you on. No issue, no problem. Ah, I'm happy to take any of you on. I think his fans are a bunch of fat cowards. You all just smoke and drink like Porky does. So what chance are you going to have against me? I'm a trained fighter. You lot are not. You lot sit around smoking weed, watching pornography, addicted to all kinds of sins, all kinds of, you know, disgusting para paraphernalia. You know, taking, as I say, taking all kinds of drink, drugs, abuse, eating fast food on a daily basis. I'm not scared of any Porky fans. So I'm calling you all out. I would love to see if, I would love to see people do some response videos. Please do that. Please keep them short. I'm not going to sit around watching boring idiots, you know, trying to get me to pay attention to them. As I say, just do like a quick little video, a little hit in the heavy bag or whatever. Obviously, I want you to take it seriously. You're getting in the ring with a person like myself who I've been in the ring with, I've sparred at a world class level over a number of years. Spar Tyson Fury on two different occasions. Ask Sugar Hill Stewart. He he was at one of the sparring sessions. Fury, I've sparred Ahara Davies, Isaac Chamberlain, Brandon Rios, Kelly Pavlik. I sparred Devin Haney when he was 14, I was 21. Very, very talented fighter. Even though he was 14, I could see the talent. Now Devin Haney's about to fight Lomachenko. Good luck, you know, all the best to him. But listen, I'll take any of you lot on, I'm not scared, you know, I've never been scared to spar people. I've got in the ring with loads of people over the years. People like Wadi Camacho. At the time we sparred, Wadi was a cruiserweight slash heavyweight. But listen, I've never been scared to spar, so if people want to spar me, I'll give you the opportunity free of charge. We'll organise a day, I'll come to Porky Land. Where does he live again? Sheffield, Doncaster, one of these places? Pick a gym, you can all form a queue, I'll take you on in the ring, no issue. I'll take you all on. And by the time I'm finished with you lot, you lot are going to be flying fish in Pelican Bay. Like, as far as anybody thinking you can turn up and knock me out, yeah, no, you're not going to knock me out. I've started training with the British Army again. I got an email from the British Army, you know, they weren't too happy. Because obviously I just disappeared to Eritrea. I didn't tell them in advance. So, while I was... I don't want to go off point, but the British Army sent me some emails. They weren't too happy. They said, look, are you serious? You know, do you want to continue your Army career? If not, uh, we're going to put you through a discharge process. You're going to have to bring back all the kit that you've given in. And I thought, oh, I thought you know what, they don't look too happy. But if you look at the email, it had capital letters. Urgent response required. I thought, they are not going to be happy. Like The next time I go down there, you know I'm going to get shouted at. 
So I just, I, I replied, I said, hi, good afternoon, Sergeant. I apologise for not, have, not having contacted you. And, you know, he said, what, what else did he say? Yeah, we've heard no response from you. Uh, when are you going to do your phase one training? If you don't, you know, what else did he say? That was the bit, but he said, we're going to put you for a compulsory discharge if you don't reply to this email within a certain amount of time. I thought, you know, these guys don't sound too happy. So I replied. So I said, hey, look, good afternoon, Sergeant. So for my lack of communication, I assure you I'm still very interested in my army career. I said, is it possible for me to continue? What are my options? Or, or do you just want to discharge me from the British Army? And fortunately, they came back very quickly, said, OK, we'll let you stay, but this can't happen again in the future. You can't just disappear and not let people know what you're up to. So I told them I've been abroad. What, else, what did they say in the email? Oh, yeah, come down on Monday. And they, they, they actually, so we spoke on the phone as well. They said, come on Monday to the office and we'll have a chat. Oh, that doesn't sound good, a chat. I'm not very confident. I just, you know, grin and bear it, but not a good situation right now so I'm, I'm fortunate anyway my army career is intact so you look, actually think you can take me on all right good luck as far as any of you think you're going to turn up and knock me out i can guarantee you you disloyal disrespectful clowns if you think you can knock me out in a boxing ring you'll be frying fish in pelican bay 23 hour lockdown you notice how people like maximus jenkins and spencer fairon are scared to get in the ring with me Spencer and me go way back. He, we, we, Spencer and me, we first met in the year 2010. Spencer, this is the thing about a lot of you. You don't even seem to know I've been around boxing in the past. So come down. We'll sort it out. But I'm officially calling out all Porky fans. No issue. I'm not asking for any special conditions. You don't have to pay me. Come down. I'll take any of you on. Full Q. I'll take the lot of you on. Anytime. See you soon. Take it seriously. Make sure you train. Goodbye.